Rocky. Referee Lawrence Cole. Trying to get Martinez in. Right, we'll listen in. I went over the rules over the dresser. I want you to obey my commands. Protect yourself to all times. Good luck when those words they play Olympic. Fight clean. For the few countries that are just joining us for the main event, we welcome you to the American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. For most of the countries that have been with us throughout the evening, we welcome you back. Mikey decked out in purple, a plum as they call it, with Garcia and rhinestones. Martinez in the red, white, and blue, the color of the flag of Puerto Rico down one side of his leg, namely the left side. And the right side. Let's see if Mikey can start breaking this guy down as he said he could for the champion. Or does the champ have so much pride with all his awkward style of fighting and the support of Miguel and Juanma? Can he pull this thing off? A big upset. He's reaching to Garcia. Garcia is uh, a slow starter by his own admission. Um, He's going through a kind of calculus about what he's seeing in front of him and how to respond, and he will respond in time. Round one on the Colonel Box Showdown with Larry Merchant. Glad wherever you're watching around the world. Special hello to all the troops watching wherever American troops are deployed around the world. Hope you're enjoying it. Yo, uh, Garcia is now trying to win the title in the ring that he lost on the scale because he couldn't make the featherweight limit of 126 in the previous fight. Um, he looks like a slightly bigger man than Martinez, who's always been at this weight. Yeah, I mentioned that uh, when he's been at this weight for 14 years, which is phenomenal in his own right, which of course means that. He never goes up in between fights, which is of the utmost importance. Guys like Roberto Duran used to balloon up in between fights. And Lord knows what a great Hall of Fame fighter he was. But it's much healthier and much easier to stay in condition as Mikey's punch shot him with that jab right now. Not a lot of leather landing in round one. But Mikey landed the jab and then that left hook. Right hand lands. Mikey does look stronger to me, Larry. You're so right. Stiff with that jab, misses eye with the right hand. Does Martinez. This is round one. This, of course, scheduled for 12 rounds because the WBO Super Flyweight Championship of the World of the 130 pound division is on the line here. Martinez again facing you is the reigning champ, but he's losing this round. And this is the early stages of what Mikey Garcia said he would do and just slowly try to break this man down. He hasn't broken him down, but he won the round. By the way, uh, just for the record, uh, Colonel, I thought Martinez won that round. No. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, then I, no, no, I want you to the do the first time. I'm wrong. No, Larry, uh, <laughs> we're, we've been different, uh, but somehow or other, we're getting to the same conclusion, even though we're not coming there the same way. No, we we want to see it the way we see it, not be influenced by each other's calling of it. So I like that because I suspect that that's the case. The judges are doing the same thing because we've been right on all night in that scoring. It's 
in round two. Martinez being a little bit more understated than he normally is. Normally he is the aggressor. Uh, and uh, so he's making Garcia um, come forward. It's just flat out good boxing right now. Notice the position of the referee stand way back, not getting involved in the action. That's Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Cole. Rocky throwing more punches in this round. Not landing anything significantly, although he shot that right hand to the body. Got hit by the left hook and felt the power of Mikey. Comes back with the left of his own. Mikey faints, drops him back, slides to the right, back to the left. Rocky Martinez avoided those two, slipped both of those punches off the hands of young Garcia. Minute to go. He's uh showing the kind of respect to Garcia and that's a reflection of how people feel about the matchup. Um, I don't know if that serves him well in the long term um, but right now he's holding his own uh, early in the fight. That's the first Five, time Mikey's been down. Six, it's up to six seven, and seven. Eight, now let's to me, see what Mike. he's got. How about that? Five, second time. Second time. Estrada knocked him down. Second time Mikey's been down. Big surprise knockdown in the first round. He's felt the power of the bigger man. Uh, how about that? There's a 10-8 round. Now, if that's the case, you're going to win my three points already. You got to jump in, okay? Very, very smart. How was it? Okay. Okay, then. We're going to have the replay for you, I see you, folks. Keep fighting smart. Here it is. All right. Little sneaky right hand, which landed, it looked like, on the right cheek sure of Garcia. Watch this. Hmm. Banged him right on that cheek, forcing the brain to cascade well, off the front part of the skull and crash into the back of the skull. Well, you see that one better than me. <laughs> but um, I think he was a little off balance, Garcia. Uh, but hey, if he's off balance, that's on him. Here we go, round three. Bucks. This is real interesting now. So many people thought that he was going to cakewalk the victory over this guy, including Mikey Garcia. Now it's a whole different kettle of fish, and he's been drunk. A lot more confidence now in Roman Rocky Martinez. Well, here, here in uh, uh, where we are in Texas, it's a kettle of uh, shrimp. That's right. By the way, I'm starving, Larry. I hope we get something to eat later on. Martinez doing a terrific job boxing. Planked him with some solid shots. Decent left jab that time by Mikey. But it doesn't shift Rocky Martinez. Oh. Now we'll see what Mikey Garcia is made of. Is he the not just potential star, but real star and future star uh, of these divisions? Well, he certainly came back to win after he was knocked down before, so there's no panic in one of the classiest boxing families in the history of the sport, and that's the Garcias. 
I think he's a little taken aback by how uh, Martinez is fighting. He knew that Martinez uh, had enough skill to do this, and now here, here Garcia comes. He's hit him three solid times in the last four punches. Is that looping right hand by Martinez? He's got a second win right now too. Jab slows that awkward right hand. Now the right hand. Martinez pulling back at the same time. Now the fight is on. Certainly is. Garcia looks like he has a perfect boxing stance right now. I mean, look at him, the hands high, big speed, Rocky a little bit loose, so not as tight in his defense. Wait, you know, you gotta watch that lunging, Larry, because Garcia can hit him with a choppy right hand. When you lunge forward like that, you're totally exposed. But Martinez is that awkward, he does it all the time, and so far in his career, he's been getting away with it. Feel both guys with the adrenaline flow with 20 seconds to go here in the third round. It's getting more interesting as the seconds tick away. Mikey avoided a lot of punches that time. Rocky missing a lot. To me, that's a Garcia round. Keep me honest, Larry, what do you think? Yeah, agree. You can agree to agree sometimes. Here we go. I got a dead even after three. And that includes the knockdown of Mikey Garcia in the second round. However, Larry thought that Martinez won the first round, so he has Martinez slightly out in front. So here is uh, Garcia's best answer. Uh, so far in the fight. Get him out by the time the bell goes, or I'm going to take a point away. You know, when you come from a fight crazy place like Puerto Rico, which has so many good trainers and fighters, um, even though we haven't seen Martinez in a boxing mode just to survive the gyms there just to get to the position he's in with all the sparring he's done over the years he had to have some kind of boxing skill but we just have never really seen it before where he's faced with a boxer and he's prepared to do some boxing on his own well, you talk about the gyms in Puerto Rico. We in the United States always hear about the tough gym wars in Philadelphia. And well, it's similar. Yeah, and, and of course the other place that happens is Tijuana, where they get a lot of really tough gym wars. And 15-year-old kids sometimes are punched up by the time they're 20. Well, they can turn pro at 15. Know, and and I'm, I'm thinking of Bernard Hopkins from Philadelphia, known as a warrior, goes in to fight Tito. Um, Trinidad. Trinidad, the great Puerto Rican fighter, and suddenly he's a master boxer. Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> but he is a master boxer. His hook to the body of Oscar De La Hoya was one of the best ever when he hit him on the liver and put it to Oscar. One of the best punches, one punch, body punches, knockouts that I've seen. Rocky not doing as well right now as Mikey is. He does a lot of lunging, and that could be the downfall of him before this night's over. Mikey's got a nice, tight defense. He's much more under control than is Rocky, but it's Mikey who's been down and not Rocky. Mikey believes he's breaking him down. Some interesting moments here. Uh, Garcia is dominating the round, but Martinez is staying close enough, and and his automatic response when he gets hit is to try to look for a way to hit back. <laughs> and uh, 
That's how he scored a knockdown earlier in the fight. It's not out of the question that somebody's going to get knocked down again here. Surviving the knockdown back in the second round was taking no toll, except to this point in the scorecard where I finally have him going ahead. If the round, if the round is slow and even if you don't want, you know, stick to them, right? Don't let them take it like that. I like round five. Do you think of this skill, Larry, for slipping those punches? Only fighters of this caliber do that. Let's go, coaches! Coming around number five, American Bank Center, Corpus Christi, Texas. Colonel Bob Sheridan with Larry Merchant on top rank boxing at its absolute very best tonight. Boy, have we seen some good fights. Garcia trying to establish himself as a serious presence in the lightweight divisions. 130, eventually 135. Um, and he looks like he has the, the physical stuff to do it and the skill. He's got the perfect boxer's body with a Come along with the called striated muscles in his bicep with a real bulk. While he's in great shape, he doesn't have that cut body that a lot of people have, but he has a six pack in his stomach just the same. And you mentioned the broad shoulders, and that's where his power comes from. Martinez doing a lot of waiting right now. Yeah. Attacking fighter normally, and he's having uh, to, to weigh every attack he does to be um, more studied in what he's doing because Garcia is so balanced and comes back so well. And your key, as it is in all sports, whether it's when Larry was playing in Oklahoma many years ago, or in ice hockey. Our in boxing, especially balance, balance, balance is so important for athletes. And that's what this is about. And Mikey appears to have better balance than Rocky. Although two totally different styles of fighting. Rocky just not landing enough at all. He looks good, he's posturing well. Oh, gosh, he isn't landing that much. No, he isn't. The truth. I, um, See, that time he came in with his hands wide with Martinez and Garcia made him play with the uppercut. There's the right hand over the outstretched left of the champ. Closing seconds now in the fifth round. Oh, that's a Garcia round. I get it. Garcia 48. Rocky Martinez 46. And don't forget, 
It was Garcia that was down in the second round. This is Rocky. Well, Torres, Miguel Diaz, Freddy Cria, Angel Rivera. And there's round six, sponsored by the Tecate Girls. The Tecate Con Character. The American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. A beautiful building right across the street from the USS Lexington that turned the course of the Battle of Midway Island. Here we go, I'm round again. six. I'm taking a point away, all right? Now, I just Box. heard Lawrence say another low blow, and I'm taking a point away. So we're going to watch against Zach. Who did he say it to? I missed He that. said it to uh, Roman Martinez, the Rocky. I haven't seen any flagrant low, blow, uh, low blows. But Lawrence is one of those guys who takes command and wants to keep command, and he may be just telling them that to just be sure it's a clean fight all the way. He does that sort of thing. That's his manner in which he referees and does it so well. I see it. It looks like he wants to be uh, uh, more aggressive, and he's getting picked off with jabs on the way in. Now we've just been told from the corner of Martinez what actually happened over there was if he's not ready when the bell sounds, that's what he's taking the point away for. Because I didn't think there were any low blows, and obviously they weren't. But we get that information. You're not ready to start fight for the full three minutes. I'm not letting you slide with five or 10 or 15 seconds at the start of a round. Mikey Garcia turning it up a notch. That jabbing over his shoulder. And that's because Garcia dipped to his right. Big shot landed. See how awkward sometimes Martinez looks now? He does, but he, he's so Oh, he's hurt. Oh, yeah. he shots that he walks into them. So look at his, look at his yeah. legs. He says, come on, but his legs aren't there. And there's a whole lot of time. Mikey cracked him and staggered him. Martinez, I don't think, realizes he's as hurt as he is. But we can clearly see his legs are very staggered. 52 seconds to go. Now, see, knows he has him hurt. This is what he's talking about by breaking him down. And since he was broken down to the canvas in the second round, he's been boxing terrifically well. Martinez hurt again slightly. Nothing big, but his legs aren't there. Left hook, not big, but enough to keep him standing. Right hand hurt him. Big trouble. Big trouble now as he falls back. Man, just when you think he's done, he recovers that fast. This is Martinez's mentality. It's also his conditioning, Larry. Get hit like this and be staggering and be able to stay on his feet is quite remarkable and a credit to the professional conditioning. That really should be a 10 8 round, but the judges won't score it that way because they don't use the full 10 points. I agree with you. Because that's a separate round from the other 10 9 rounds. I mean, Martinez was staggered five times. Just as it is, Martinez's um, attitude to come right back at you, it's Garcia's attitude to take you apart, not to lose control. And that is what he's trying to do, just break Martinez down systematically. And that's exactly what he's doing, and so well said by Larry Merchant. It's a terrific fight. We're in the seventh round now. The chance to up Rocky, Rocky, which means a lot of people travel from Puerto Rico to South Texas for this. 
It's a lot closer from Puerto Rico to here than it is from California to here to support Mikey Garcia. But the Garcia family alone has enough people in it to be of significant importance. <laughs> They've turned the California town of Oxnard, north of Los Angeles, into uh, one of the fight capitals of the world, or fight training centers of the world. Um, a lot of Mexican immigrants came up to that area to work on the farms, particularly in the strawberry fields. And uh, now we're seeing the sons and the grandsons emerge. Of course, Fernando Vargas, the great champ, former champ, lives there. And I thought I saw Fernando here in support of Mikey Garcia. By the way, Alex Ramos of the Retired Boxing Foundation is here. One of the great amateur fighters of all time. Good to see Alex. Oh, right hand! Crashes the left side of the head. And he's staggering again. And, Look that, at the legs. and Martinez just automatically comes back it's just built into his dna that's what he's going to do and he's in trouble again with a lot of time his heels are heavy his thighs are heavy his knees are loose and his balance isn't there but mikey doesn't panic he just keeps doing what he does so well continuing to try to break this man down and he's not trying to break him down he is breaking him down. Martinez doesn't have the power in his punches anymore to drop Garcia. I'd be real surprised if he hits a power shot that shifts Garcia again in this fight after having Mikey down in the second round. His timing is off. His positioning is off. And his balance isn't great. And when that happens, he looks ever so much more awkward than he already is. Right hand flashes on the side of the skull. But remember, with all this staggering, loose knees, heavy feet, heavy thighs, Martinez hasn't been down. Nailed again. Mikey thought the round ended with they or, or he thought that uh, Martinez might have gone down because he looked like he was turning away to go to his corner. Well, he was, Larry, and it happened exactly after the moment where the mimic controls the belly hits the steel on the side of the canvas, and it sounds, I'm sure, the fight is in there like a bell because it's happened on four or five different occasions tonight. Right hand, right over the top of the left. And this is his Garcia, you know, was just waiting for it to happen, knowing it would happen when he wanted it to happen. Well, there's five more rounds scheduled, and I get Garcia Take out in front by four points, meaning if Rocky Martinez doesn't win this round, he's going to knock him out. Or at least knock him down, and he doesn't get that kind of power at the stage of the fight. Mikey is doing what he came to do, and that's to break him down. Now let's test the warrior in Martinez, because he is the reigning champ. I don't believe he's going to be reigning much longer. At the same time, um, whether Garcia in this showcase fight um, is going to close the show, is in some kind of crowd pleasing fashion. Our right hand hurt him again. Now there's a ton of time with Martinez in big trouble. And a good body shot that followed it. And that may be the end. This is of the, end. the time he goes down. It's up to four and five and six and seven. It might be over. It's over. Nine and ten. It's all over. The Mikey Garcia is the new WBO super flyweight champion of the world. He came, he saw, he broke him down, and he has now conquered Roman. Rocky Martinez is no longer champion.
Wow, Larry, wow. That's the kind of wow finish that everybody in the boxing world wanted to see tonight. And once again, the body shots are the ones that complete this story. Watch this, Larry. Here's the finishing act in this tragedy of a play for Martinez and Puerto Rico. Right. He's hurt. Right high on the rim. Oh, man. I could feel that. That could have broken the bottom rip, which is right next to the side of the lip. The official time, 56 seconds of round number eight. The winner by knockout victory, and he is the new undefeated WBO featherweight champion of the world, Miguel Angel Mikey. A great night for top-ranked boxing right as their fighters Mikey. just continue to roll. Nanito Donaire wins.